In this video, I'll show you how to add a ground floor slab and insulation to your estimate. Click Estimate on the Project Explorer window on the left of your screen. This opens the Estimate dashboard. From here, you can open all of the estimating calculators within the estimate. You can also add new estimating calculators using the Estimating tab. Click the Floors button on the Estimating tab. Then select a floor type. For this example, we're clicking Concrete Slabs. The Concrete Slab Component Builder pops up, asking you first to select a specification. You can order the specifications by thermal performance, thickness or rate by just clicking on the column headers. I'm going to select the Reinforced Concrete Slab Insulation Below Slab High Thermal Performance Specification. You can have a closer look at the specification by clicking Review Specification or if you're happy with it out of the box, click Next. The next screen prompts you to select a configuration. The rectangular configuration allows you to enter the width and length of the slab. For the any shape configuration, you simply enter the total area of the slab. Use this configuration to estimate an L-shaped or irregular shaped area of slab. I'm going to select the any shape option this time. Once you've clicked on the configuration, click Next. On this next screen, you need to enter the dimensions of the slab. In this case, I simply need to enter the total area, which is 87 square metres. If you've selected the rectangular configuration, simply enter the length and the width of the slab. Once you've finished entering the dimensions, click Next. The final screen invites you to add any sundry items you need. Click into the Rate Quantity input box and type in the length of perimeter insulation you need. Note that the rate quantity for insulation to perimeter is millimetres. You can also enter the number of days a concrete pump is required. I'm going to enter 1. Once you've added the sundry items, click Finish. BuildingWorks now opens up the estimate for the reinforced concrete slab component in the Dimension Linked Specified Items tab. At the top of the screen, you can see the total cost of the slab component you've just estimated. As you look down the screen, you'll find the cost of each assembly. Click on the arrow next to an assembly to see a breakdown of all of the materials, labour and plant which are linked to the dimensions you've entered. Now click on the Dimensions and Linked Components tab. Here you can edit the dimensions of the slab. If you take a look at the Project Explorer, you'll see that you've added an estimating calculator called Reinforced Concrete Slab, insulation below slab to your estimate. Estimating calculators can be identified by their bold font on the Project Explorer with a border around the icon. You can estimate several slab components within an estimating calculator. The slab component you've just estimated is currently called Floor 1. Components appear in normal font with no border around the icon. If you want to add more slabs of the same specification, you can quickly do so by clicking the Add Floor button on the Component tab. You won't need to select the specification of the slab again, thus saving time. Over to you. Have a go at estimating your concrete slab. Go to the Estimating tab within your estimate, click the Floors button and select Concrete Slabs. Work your way through the Concrete Slab Component Builder, selecting a specification and configuration, then entering the dimensions of the slab. Finally, add any sundry items you need. Once complete, take a few minutes to explore the estimate for the concrete slab.